Hi darling, you're not really feeling it today. No. Well, it's good because we haven't got far to go today. Nothing. It's only 23 k's. And this is the last of our chocolate. <laughs> you'd never find I know something about a state of mind I've got the dreamer in me with rain and wind but thankfully mostly tailwind just about blowing us into ditches cars as you can hear but we're about four to six k's away from our destination the hostel in Kaitara should be fabulous so um, we're just about to start going into the forest we should have road walked for a few k's but it looks like there's going to be 20 mils of rain monday night tuesday and these forests are pretty muddy so making a bit of a start so we can get to the summit today um camp tonight um before this sort of weather bomb is and we don't want to get stuck we've done about 15 k's in town anyway so we've covered that few k's off this is the team we're just getting ready and um we're going to be here very shortly what an absolute privilege to be walking our beautiful Aotearoa one step at a time. We're both feeling very connected to the land that my ancestors chose as a home in the 1840s. We're feeling very soothed by the love and kindness of the people of New Zealand, the Tangata Whenua. What was that, Claire? I said short socks and mud don't work. Her sock has vanished under her foot so um, she's just sorting it out. Fun times on the TA. Well that's rather muddy darling. I'll just look at the state of uh, Claire's footwear after coming out of the Ratia forest. Some of the only Kiwis that we've met, the majority being from overseas and absolutely falling in love with our country. It's not hard to see why when you step out and walk it one step at a time. It's very stirring for a tired soul in a good and meaningful way. So this is the girls, pretty happy to be uh, emerging from the forest. That's um, right here done and dusted. How do you feel? I've done my goal for steps apparently today. <laughs> Sherlock. <laughs> and that's the view.
So here comes Claire and Henny. We're doing the river walk in the Phuketi forest at the moment. Certainly cool on the feet. And I think we've got about five or seven k's of walking down this river. They're so tiny. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Here comes Mama. Whoa. <laughs> we should be careful. We shall dive bomb you. I can recommend this to every Kiwi, to go touch the land and listen to her beautiful ancient voice. We're very lucky to live in this beautiful country. Beautiful, I know, but we've probably just had our most challenging um, part of the trail. We took a wrong turn back on a bluff and a slip just back there, and we got uh, we got caught up on the bluff, and um, so we've wasted about 45 minutes getting ourselves and going back to the last marker, and we found our way around the bluff. We're back on the track, but um, got a wee bit sketchy there, and um, yeah, certainly wasn't fabulous for. Uh, for morale, but anyway, it's a um, sunny day, so we'll carry on. Just cruising through some more cowrie forest here. Very pretty, we've come up a big grunt, but man, it's a uh, been quite a big day and it's still a long time to go. This is beautiful big carry for us so quite lucky to walk through here because I think it's all going to get closed off. It's pretty neat. Well that's got to be the toughest 25 k's I've ever walked. We left at 5 to 7 this morning and it's a cowrie forest in Northland and you can't camp anywhere in it at the moment because of the cowrie dieback. It's spectacular, it's absolutely beautiful but you have to keep pushing on because you can't camp. It's currently five past five, so that's ten hours of solid tramping. The heavy rain coming tomorrow, so it's a 28k hike to Kerry Kerry. So we will be swazzying it tomorrow, full wet weather gear. We'll test out some of the swazzies, lightweight, I can't remember what it's called right now, rain gear. So far the rain jacket's been awesome, haven't tried the pants yet, but we're planning I'm hopefully having just a, a bit of a relax if we can before heading away the next day which is another 28k day to Waitangi. Walking speed is a great speed to learn a bit more about the country that you've been born and raised in. So that's it for me. The tank is empty. Looking forward to stopping. <laughs> Darling, you're not really feeling it today. Well, it's good because we haven't got far to go today. Okay. It's only 23 k's. And this is the last of our chocolate. <laughs> I will. I won't eat any more chocolate. You can have the rest. I'm not crying. But I'm okay because I'm tough. It's an easy walk, but I'm just absolutely shattered. I will. Day off tomorrow.